I recently posted a picture on social media how I watch Netflix on my Mustang Mach-E. So people ask me how I did that. There's companies that build devices which allow cars which are designed to plug in Apple CarPlay or plugged in Android Auto to use them as wireless. The Mach-E has that built in. But if you use a box like that or a device like that, the, those devices allow you to also watch Netflix or watch your own movies from a USB thumb drive. So I got this one car stereo AI box light. It comes in this beautiful shipping box. When you open that box, you get the device which is called AI box light. You get an adapter cord, which is one side USB and the other one USB-C. And you got a USB-C to USB adapter. So let me plug that in. If I want to plug that in, I use that device. It has on one side the USB-C connector. Here I connect a cord. And to connect it into the marquee, I use here the USB-C to USB adapter. And to watch my movies, I put in the thumb drive with my movies on it. And if you're not sure how to do it, there comes also an instruction booklet which explains that pretty much in simple steps how to do it. So now I have to plug it in. There's under the screen of the marquee, there's two USB connectors. One is a USB-C and one is a USB. I used the USB-C. Once it's plugged in, you got here some control LEDs which tell you the device is working. The instruction even tell you what the each light means, if it's updating or if it's just connecting or communicating. Now as it is plugged in, I have to wait a bit until it has a connection established with the marquee. I can put it down. Now as it wants to connect, I press connect. Sometimes it also boots up by itself. It wants to disconnect my phone from the Android Auto which is connected with the car. So here's the Android Auto slash Apple CarPlay screen from the device. Here are some different settings which you can adjust. Here you can go back. Um, it will load now to the Android Auto main screen. As you know here you see Google Maps, Amazon Music. Here you would have your Android Auto overview screen, same as in the marquee. And then if you want to go to the devices main menu, you can press that orange icon. That orange icon, you can move it around. And if you search it and it disappeared, which also can happen, you just tap the screen, the icon comes back. If you press the orange icon, you get two symbols. One is like exit. And with exit, I get to the main screen. Now here on the main screen, I got here some settings which I don't really want to use, it, it car only recognizes it here with the phones as an AI box. I close that. Then I have here the Wi-Fi setting. Here I can connect to any Wi-Fi network. Sometimes this use Wi-Fi is, is turned off. Interesting is when this is turned off, it's so great that you think that is not active. This is still active, you just have to press on. It search for Wi-Fi. If you have a Wi-Fi used before already, it will remember it and it will connect automatically to it. Then I go back. Here I go to the Android Auto Apple CarPlay. Here I use apps and here's Netflix. Here they gave for Netflix a shortcut, but if you press apps, Netflix is also here. YouTube is here. Video and music is here. There's another setting icon. The setting icon, just more like language, factory settings, version and stuff like that. So if you haven't had the marquee update with YouTube, you can press here on YouTube and watch YouTube from here. You can log in into your own profile. Once you're here on YouTube, you can search your movies, what you want to watch or clips and you just press on them and, and watch it. Then the other option is you go back and you watch Netflix. You open Netflix. First time you use, you have to log in into your account. I'm already logged in. And 
I can go here to any movie. Now, I don't even know which clip it is. Let me just show you how it is when a movie plays. It loads a bit. Sound is to the system, which is great. Let me turn off the sound. And you can also scroll forward as normal, as you know, in Netflix. And if you want to go out of that screen, Again, you have that orange icon here, which disappears when you not press anything for a few seconds. But if you want the orange icon back, you press on the screen, press on the orange icon, and you can go back to the main menu. Maybe you have to press two times, even three times, or you press the house, it also gets you back to the main menu. Now, the other option you have here is you press video. What does video do? Let me pause this here. Video plays automatically a clip you played recently or what it finds on the USB drive. So if I look here on this icon here, I can go to the local drive. Local drive has already some movies on it. I think it's a Fast and the Furious trailer. You see here, make, let's make it big. It's a Fast and Furious trailer. As you see, image quality is really good. Then I can go back here, again to the videos. If I wanna change to the videos which are on my USB drive, I press here. Go to USB, USB storage. I uploaded here some videos which I made with a different YouTube channel. I just press on one of the videos and you will play them right away. You see it's a good picture quality, it's a good resolution, sound is also good. I can p press pause here, can choose a different movie, different movie saved on my USB. Yeah, I can skip forward, it works really good. So if you drive a lot with your marquee and you stop a lot where you have to wait for people or stop a lot at charging station, that box really helps you. So you can watch Netflix, you can watch YouTube if you haven't had the update, or watch any movie which you have on a, from a thumb drive. And maybe in future they also allow watch movies from Disney or from Amazon or something. Check my video description below which shows you the link to the product. It's called... AI box light from one car stereo and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and check out all the other videos I made I have quite a bit of content for the marquee thanks for watching and have a good day